welcome to our channel today we will learn how to use github with new xcode 9 with the introduction of xcode 9 there are a lot of features but we are covering only the github features since most of the users use xcode to push or commit their code to github it's a very easy way and reliable way because most of us don't know the commands using terminal although most of the users use terminal or the github app to push their code and pull their code so let's start here we have new xcode 9 let's see about xcode this is xcode 9.0 so here the most drastic change is this bar it says show the source control navigator so here we already configured it from xcode 8.3 so when we click on it we can see branches tags and the remotes okay this is the region this is the uh, branches master milestone to milestone to bug fixes feedback milestone and here you can see the commits last 24 commits no last 7 day commits last 30 days commits no result on this because i already worked on this so you can see the latest branch that it shows the current branch milestone 2 bug fixes and that's it last 24 hours fixes 7 days 30 days and all okay you can also see the commit id and the date of commit here okay now the most common aspect is that how to create a new branch in your projects that are already set up with the github so you have to select the branch from which you want to make another branch go to this gear icon tap on it here it's a branch from milestone to bug fixes when i click on it it says create a new branch from the current branch and switch to it all uncommitted changes will be available on the new branch so i will name it milestone milestone 2 bug fixes milestone 2 bug fixes xcode 9 so I will create it so it says now this is my latest branch and now I go to source control press commit this is the old way check all push to remote here I can see my latest branch created I will add the commit message commit from xcode 9 and I will press commit 11 files is pushing to the github it will take some time though if we go to preferences and export here we have accounts and here we have source control It's taking a lot of time. Maybe because of this wave files.
and it's done. Now it's done and you can see from Xcode 9 the last commit is today and the commit ID. So here you learn how to create a new branch from your already configured GitHub because most of us who migrate from Xcode 8.3 to Xcode 9 will create a new branch for the commit. So hope you like this video. If you like this video then do share and give thumbs up icon to this video and do subscribe to our channel and if you have few comments for our improvement then do please comment so that we can improve our videos and sh and sooner we will create a new tutorial on github that will cover whole thing from scratch thanks for watching bye bye